everyone! For those of you who do not know me, my name is Savannah Beachwave and I live here in the lovely Mistfall with four of my horses. Their names are Storm, then there's Levi, then there's Cleo, and lastly, Calyx. I also work with many client horses and these horses are named Mesa, then we have Neptune, and then there's Willow. I also ride horses that belong to my coworkers, family, friends, and sponsors. And those horses are Lexus, then there is Pretzel, here we have Grayson, and then of course there is the lovely Link. Today I am going to be showing you a regular day in the life of a competitive rider, horse trainer, and riding instructor. I work here at the Mistfall Barn, so my day starts bright and early at 7.30, going to the cafe to grab some breakfast. After I finish my meal, I make my way to the barn, and then I'm just changing into some muck boots and some normal equestrian attire so I don't get anything dirty. Now I have to go check what horses need to be fed, and I start filling their buckets with grain, hay, and water. The next and first thing on today's agenda is to get this lovely horse named Shifter tacked up for one of my lesson students' lesson, so I am going to be tacking her up and then I will go meet the little girl in the arena. I have already gone ahead and groomed off camera, so I'm just putting on a saddle pad, saddle, and then the bridle. So this was just a flat lesson and this student has been riding for about three years now. So she definitely is not a beginner by any means, but definitely not a pro. So she does walk, trot, canter most of her lessons, sometimes jumps a little bit, but we're still kind of easing into jumping. Now Shifter is a really great school horse for all lessons. So I think that it was really great pairing these two up. She has been riding Shifter for a very long time now, almost the beginning of her riding. So the lesson was great and you guys can see that right here. The lesson went great and I was overall very proud. So now it is time for me to take Levi for a hack. So I'm going to be changing into some riding boots. I love these riding boots, they're great. I think I got them from the mall. Now I'm just going to be grooming Levi on both sides of course and then I'm going to be getting him all tacked up to go on our hack. Now I am just throwing on my saddle pad, then my saddle, and then my Rex Stamper Walnut Bridle. Now I'm just putting on my helmet, of course, and leading out to the trails to go on our hack. Levi has always been one of my greatest horses, but a little while ago he did colic, so I have been trying to go a little easy with him on training, but now I am starting to kind of jumpstart our recovery, get a little quicker. So I did walk, trot, canter on this hack, and then I also did bring my GoPro around so that I can get some helmet cam footage for you guys right here. So you can see my helmet cam. Um, it's not that great of an angle, but I am just experimenting with GoPros as of right now, so I'm not a pro with it, but overall, the hack was amazing. I hope you guys like the footage that I was able to get. I'm very proud, so thank you and enjoy this. Now we are just finishing the hack, going ahead and walking back to the barn. It was really great. We were out for about an hour or so. Now I am just dismounting and then leading Levi back into the barn. So now I did go ahead and change just because the wind is starting to pick up outside and I was getting a little chilly, but now I'm going to be training Neptune. So I'm going to be tacking him up, taking him out to the arena and then getting started. Here I am just throwing on my saddle pad, followed by my Rex Stamper Walnut saddle and then my Rex Stamper Walnut bridle. Now I'm throwing on my helmet of course and then leading out to the arena to get started on this training session with Neptune. 
So because this was a regular training session instead of a video completely dedicated to Neptune's training, I didn't film as much as I typically would, but I did get some pretty good clips for you guys here, so I hope that you enjoy them. I just did some walking, trotting, cantering, and then a little bit of jumps. Um, so the training session was about an hour and a half long. Definitely kind of a long one, but... Overall, happy with the results. I think that he did good. I did some circles. When I did some jumps, I did a few rollbacks, trying to really work on our performance. But yeah, it was great. So overall, amazing job and enjoy these clips. So it has been a few hours since my training session with Neptune. I've kind of just been hanging around the barn doing basic groom work, but now it is time for a show jumping lesson with one of my coworkers horse, Link. So my trainer is going to be training me. I'm going to be training for a show that is coming up soon. But the first thing that I need to do is just go ahead and grab my tack. So I'm going to be doing that right now. So I'm going into the tack room to just grab my tack. So just a bridle, a saddle pad, a saddle, nothing too crazy, you know. So you can just see in these clips right here, I'm just grabbing my basic tack and then I'm going ahead and putting them on the horse. So this is Link, he's adorable, but I'm just putting on these pieces of tack. I did use some open front boots on Link just because I like how they are when I show jump. Now, the first thing I do when I get to the arena is just setting up my jumps as you can see right there i did have a few set up already from earlier but i'm just setting up these ones right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and mount up as soon as i lead into the arena So I did a pretty quick warm up just because Link is an extraordinary horse. He truly is amazing and is very, very used to the show jumping world. So I didn't need to warm up for too, too long just because, you know, he knows how to work. So I did get a few clips of us walking. Then I just transitioned into a trot followed by a canter. But as you can see right here, the trot is looking very nice. We're on the right diagonal. We have good striding. Everything is looking good. I got a few different camera angles and I'm overall happy with the footage I was able to get. As this is a competitive lesson, I'm not too crazy about filming lessons that I do myself just because I want to be able to focus on my riding instead of focusing on getting on good shots. But these were the ones I got so far and I'm happy with them. So so enjoy these clips and you will see me jump a little bit and then we will be ready to close up the barn and end the day.
So now that I have finished up my ride, I'm just making my way back to the barn and putting away everything that I took, and then I am just locking up and ending my day right now. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. I love you all so much. Thank you so, so much for almost 200 subscribers. I can't even believe it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys!